This is your editing self talking. You should know by now not to vlog in vertical. You've been doing this for four seasons now. Um, anyway, hey guys, this is Reagan with Go Reagan. And for this week's episode, we are talking about homemade food and how my family doesn't really eat a lot of preservatives. So for this for this particular week we made spaghetti and normally um, people and families that we know can make spaghetti in about 30 minutes or less. No, not my family. We make spaghetti in all day event apparently because as y'all can see in the future clip, my mom has um, made homemade spaghetti noodles and the reason why we do homemade homemade food most of the time is because number one, you don't need all the preservatives. Number two, I do a lot better when I have less gluten and processed food in my system. But because we live in America and not Europe, we can't always get the freshest ingredients possible. So that's why I try to stay away from like store bought foods like chips and pretzels and all that. It's very hard to, but that's why I try to stay away from it. Um, I recently, or not recently, but throughout the past couple of years, I've noticed that if I eat too, too many processed foods, I feel like I'm going to have the flu. And I have affectionately, affectionately named this sickness, if you will, gluten flu. And I always say that I'm not going to put myself through it. It hurts too much. And what do I do? I put myself through it every single time. Because in the moment, I don't care. And the the pretzels or snacks that I'm eating is just so delicious and I really don't care. But a secret tidbit that you might not know about my mom's spaghetti sauce is we actually put wine in it. And yes, the alcohol cooks out, but the wine is used for a specific flavor. So, mom, yeah. What are we doing today? Um, today is spaghetti day because it's a good, nice meal for a, a Saturday. Right. And I'm making pasta. I learned to make pasta in a cooking class I took um, at Callisto Culinary, which is a local thing. And so we're going to show you. Um, I made it the pasta dough. It's just flour, eggs, water, salt, just basic. Oh, and I added paprika to it. So it's going to be a really fun, like reddish orangish color because one of the things I learned in my class is you can add flavors to your pasta, which makes it even better. Oh, so that's I have awesome. My potions master machine, which is fantastic. And I have my little dough in quarters. And so we go to the, we gotta put it on one and we turn it on. And the first thing that's gonna happen is it's gonna go through and start thinning out for pasta. And this looks really good. We want it to keep getting a little bit thinner, a little bit thinner. I don't like thick noodles at all. I don't either. Yeah. So we just we just keep turning the dial. So then this makes it at stage two and just keeps making it a little bit thinner. I have I have um, a little bit of flour in here so I can sprinkle in between. Okay. What makes it that orangey color? It's the paprika I added to the pasta. So I just went to Hungary a month ago and I bought fresh paprika in Budapest. 
And so I'm just using it to trying it out because it's just fun to have your pasta as a little bit of flavor with all the flavors in your sauce, I think. It just, we'll see. I bet that was a fun trip, huh? Oh, it was a fun trip, yeah. It's definitely a very cool thing to do. Okay, we're going finally on four. This will be our thinnest one. Now, what does the four setting do? It just keeps getting it thinner and thinner so that the glutens are mixing together and it'll make it really good pasta. And um, and then we're going to put it on the pasta setting itself that will turn it into noodles. So hold on just a minute. This makes it really nice and thin and stretchy. Wow. I know. Doesn't that look fun? Look at that, y'all. It looks amazing. Okay. So I'm going to turn this off real quick and switch it out for the pasta one. And this is all my KitchenAid stand mixer, which I just love. I have all kinds of different attachments for it. Don't you have the ice cream one too? I have the ice cream one. I have the cheese shredder one. We I love just, the cheese shredder I one. I do. Okay. And so this is going to turn it into spaghetti now. And ready? Oops. It's a little bit dusty, but that's okay. It's still gonna taste good no matter what. The flowery, right. the better. The more flowery you have, the better. Okay. So do you see how it's turning into like lovely pasta? Oh my goodness. I know. Isn't that fun? There's a little bit on the floor, but oh, we can clean okay. it up. Everything cleans. I'm just trying to kind of layer it here in a second, and then I'll turn it into a little mess in the flour. Cool. And so we got it going through, and it's just this beautiful color. I mean, I cannot wait for dinner. And the great thing about homemade pasta is it just doesn't take very long. Right. But um, it just tastes amazing, and it just take, doesn't take hardly any time at all. Right. And so then I just kind of swirl into these little nests right here so that they're ready to go in the boiling water whenever we have that ready. So I just have a little bit more to make, and our sauce has been cooking on the stove for about three hours now because that's my favorite way to make sauce. Yeah, then, we try to make things as homemade as possible around I, here. I'm, I'm sort of an anti-preservative mom. I just, <laughs> just who I am. I'm sorry. Sure. So anyway, that's pasta making at the Brown household. We'll be eating spaghetti in a little while. I hope you enjoyed the little demo. Thanks for letting me video you today. Yeah, sure. No problem. Have fun, Riggs. Okay. And this is the end result of homemade spaghetti noodles. Here is my glass of wine. Bon appetit. Anyway, so, um, my parents aren't necessarily gluten-free, but because I am, or I at least try to be for the most part, they have fortunately and unfortunately at the same time, have taken it upon themselves to get rid of every snack in my house that is not um, healthy or filled with preservatives. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I love them for it. But on the times when I am really craving a snack and I have nothing in the house, and also, my dad has nothing in the shop, which means we have to go to Sam's and stock up on stuff. What do I do? I drink black coffee, and I drink my healthy milkshake for either breakfast, snack, lunch, or lunch. Because right now, my mom and I are in the middle of intermittent fasting, and I actually have a doctor's appointment coming up probably within the next week or two so I will give you all an update on that but um, we really love when my mom makes Italian food it's probably one of our favorite nights in the house it's delicious and she can keep making pasta all she wants I'm I'm not complaining it is fantastic and the paprika actually added a very distinct and yummy flavor so if you liked a look into 
what we sometimes treat ourselves with for supper, then please feel free to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and always remember that the greatest compliment y'all can give me is a referral. That means that if you see someone that needs a little bit of happiness and positivity in their day, then feel free to send um, them my link and I would be happy to help them in any way possible. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you all have a blessed week. Bye everyone!